During the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at some of the techniques that can help to greatly improve the effectiveness of roller crimping cover crops. So join us now as we visit with the folks at Rodale Institute. We are here at Rodale Institute in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. My name is Brandon Ware and I'm a farm manager here. And today we are terminating our rye cover crop with a INJ roller crimper. The timing of roller crimping is very important to make sure that the cover crop terminates properly. If you go to terminate it too early, it can bounce right back up on you and you don't want to terminate it too late that it can go to seed. So it's very important to time it properly and check the cover crop before rolling. With the rye cover crop, there are two main stages. It would be the vegetative state and the reproductive state. When rolling down, you wanna make sure that it is in the reproductive state and that it's starting to produce seed and going through anthesis. At this point, you wanna to check to make sure that there's even seed being produced and that there would be liquid coming out of it. It would almost look milky. When you go to squeeze the seed, you'll see there's liquid that comes out and that's the seed starting to form. Um, a lot of times we'll call this at the milk stage. Now, just yesterday, this was pure liquid, but as you can see, the seed is actually starting to form in there and that's only within a day. I would say within a week, these seeds might be strong enough that if we don't terminate them, they could regrow in the field. We also look for the stalk yellowing on the plant and that is really preferred. It's starting to dry up and die from the bottom up, and that almost guarantees that it'll crimp correctly at the bottom of the stock and terminate the whole plant. With the INJ roller crimper, we uh, fill it with water so that it has more weight to push down and terminate the cover crop. We also use the three-point hitch in float so that it's only the weight and that it can compensate for unevenness in the field. Also with the roller crimper down and it in float, it is very hard to steer and you lose some of your steering capabilities. So you have to use the differential brake steering with just the right and the left brake pedal. The rye is planted how we plant it at Rodale Institute at 168 pounds per acre. And we also make sure that it's planted early enough in the fall in the previous season so that it's a nice stand for coming to roll down. Also, when you're planting your rye cover crop in the fall, you want to make sure that your field is prepped in a very good way and make sure that it is completely flat. If you have tire tracks, small little furrows, this leads to the cover crop maybe not terminating if it's not level underneath the roller crimper. Also when planting the rye cover crop in the fall, we've been trying to plant at a 12 degree angle across the field. Now this may lead to a little bit longer of a planting time and more turns involved, but this decreases the chance of weeds growing up in row when you're planting. If the cover crop is planted straight and you're planting straight into that, this leaves gaps that weeds can grow up in. By planting the rye at a 12 degree angle in your field, it's cutting across the rye and giving it better coverage. And now let's leave the rye field and see what we can learn as we crimp some hairy vetch. Today we're roller crimping with the INJ roller crimper. Um, we're roller crimping our hairy vetch and planting corn into it. Hairy vetch is used because it creates more biomass and it makes a better coverage across the whole ground as a mulch layer. Now when rolling hairy vetch, you want to look for seed pods to know that you're at the right timing. The seed pods will start forming from the bottom up of the plant. You want to catch them before the seeds are mature and can reseed themselves. I have a pod here that I picked off the bottom two inches of the plant. And if I split that open, I can push a seed out that's starting to form, but it's not hardened up and it won't survive. This is about the timing you want.